I do not like Cheetos. I just got the shirt, man. Call me the cow, the Cheeto cowboy. I don't care. I just got the shirt. Haven't you ever had a shirt that said something that you didn't like? Well, it's a shirt. And this is how you know it's time to do laundry because I'm wearing it. And there was nothing else left. And I've probably got 80 shirts. So, no. Never could stand them things. Uh, Doritos. I've never been a chip person or, you know, snack person. I, I ate popcorn. I cut that out. Uh, but never Doritos. Fritos. Now, Fritos I would get and put in chili. But Cheetos I never could. You know, it's not that they taste bad. I don't mind the taste. I mean, they're, it's just a, something I can eat a few of and I'm good. But that they, they leave your fingers orange. And it's that texture that I just can't stand that. You know. I, I didn't mind the ones that were crunchy. And their texture is even worse. But I didn't mind those. But in the ones that are hot. The Chester Cheetahs. Or I, don't, I don't know what they're called. I've just never been a chip eater. Potato chips. I'll tell you what. It is good though. If you've ever had chocolate covered potato chips the salty potato chips like the ruffles uh, ridges lays have ruffles ridges there was a place I think it was in Cleveland Ohio it was in an industrial park and it was a chocolate little chocolate factory but you could go in there and they had chocolate covered potato chips and when I first heard that I'm like that sounds gross oh no oh no they not gross they good salty and sweet mixed together is good. If you ever get a hold of them, I'm sure today's day and age, you can find chocolate covered potato chips. They are the bomb dizzle, shizzle, Cheeto mizzle. They are. Ha! Well, this morning my plans doesn't mean I'm going to do it. It's just my plans. and It doesn't mean that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out there and get some of those 2x4s I got from the sawmill. The big honking 2x4s that I never used. And I'm going to build a bike rack for the back of my truck. Because when I loaded up those two bikes uh, a few weeks ago, there's a review on my other channel. I had them up in there, the kickstands down, I had straps on there, they still fell over. So I want to build a bike rack that will slide into my truck. It's a big, long, eight-foot bed. It'll hold any bike I got. And I want three sections where I can load three bikes. Most of the time, I'm only going to have one bike with me. Uh, it'll be down the center. I'm going to make it where I can slide a bar through the front wheels, maybe lock it. Not real necessary with one bike, but if you're hauling three, uh, and then I'm going to start loading them up and taking them places, state parks, whatever, for rides. And, and put that as content on the other channel. Uh, I sit here and I do nothing most of the time. And I, I've got to change that. I've got to change up my routine because I feel something's missing. And I'm missing out on life. There's places I haven't seen, haven't went to. And I've been here 12 years and there's so much I haven't seen. Maybe go load up I got a friend in hot springs that's an hour and a half away go to hot springs take two bikes maybe we go ride I don't know but that's something I really want to do so I want to get out there and build a simple rack I've watched a few videos on YouTube I've seen some of their racks they build I think I can improve upon them uh, I don't know one of my one of my pet peeves is hauling something that moves or falls over it has to be a secure load. I know some people just throw things in and, oh, it'll ride. No, it won't. You got to make sure it's secure. Uh, now, I would like to be able to haul two bikes and lock one up because today people steal things. People can't help themselves. They steal things. Uh, so you got to make sure it's secure. But it would be nice to load up two bikes, come back, get the other one. Uh, you know, ride an hour or so. But during the summer, I've got to do this in the mornings because it's cooler in the mornings. And we may have weeks where 
the mornings are miserable. Right now, 57 degrees out here. Can you believe that? Hey, you need a sweatshirt out there this morning. The dogs are loving it. Uh, they just sleep out in the open when it's cool like that. Uh, that's what they do in the summer anyway. But yeah, I'm going to load up some bikes and go get some content. Uh, I'm not I'm not huge on the family thing, going to other people's houses. and f You know, that's one thing. When you meet a lot of other YouTubers, everywhere you go with them, you got cameras stuck in your face. Everybody wants to film what's going on. You can't play music and have a good time like normal people. Normal people go, they have a picnic, or they have a get-together, they have food, they have fun. Not with YouTubers. There's never no music because of copyrights. Everybody's walking around like this. That's not me, man. That's not me. Okay? And that isn't why I don't go to meetups. I don't go to meetups for a few reasons. Okay? I have a very weak immune system, for one. Okay, I never eat food. I never eat food that I don't prepare unless it's a restaurant. And I know it could happen there, which I never eat at restaurants, so pretty good there. I used to go to Sonic in the morning and get something. Yes, you take a chance, but you don't know how things were prepared. I don't have a spleen. And if there's kids around, kids go to school. School is a germ factory. So I don't try to put myself around that. Plus, man, I've seen those videos. Those things look boring. They're sitting around. All they do is draw tickets to win prizes. Nah, it's not that I'm antisocial. I just, I find it better to stay away from large groups of people. And that's pretty much it, you know. I stay healthy, but I stay away from a group of people. The way it is. But I do want to get the bikes, and I do want to load them up and go take them there's some, I mean, just around me is so many state parks um, that would, I don't, they don't necessarily have riding trails, but if you hit them like during the weekday when people are working and people aren't there, you know, a lot more to see. Uh, we do got a big bluegrass festival across the street, but I'm not interested in that at all. That is like a, it's a bunch of old people in there, old people. They sit around, drink coffee. Oh, you know, do what old people do. Sit around, drink coffee, and talk. They like talk shows. They like to watch stuff like this. Guys with Cheeto shirts on. I don't know, man. Oh, that's hot. Uh-huh. So, I should be able to whip, whip out a bike rack here in a couple hours. Maybe I'll film it. Maybe I won't. I just haven't been that motivated to put anything up on the other channel. I don't care. I don't need it. I don't need the money for to survive. So it's just a channel and I need to be more selective what I put on there. You know, better quality, more interesting videos. People right now are so busy watching all these implants that came here. Transplants. <laughs> implants build their places, you know, my channel's not interesting to them anymore, so I haven't been putting anything up, and I don't care, you know, I put up what I put up, and that's what I put up, and if you guys want to watch it, you can, or, you know, my channel's easy, there's no PayPal links, there's no address, you ain't got to mail me nothing, you ain't got to send me money, just give me a like, subscribe, and that's it, I'm happy, I don't need your money, I don't need your gifts, I even took the address off. I don't, I'm going to close that P.O. box out. It's a waste of money. I don't need it anymore. I already have a P.O. box. And I've got a home address. So I, why pay for three of them? Um, unfortunately, I paid it up for a whole year. So, But I haven't got a piece of mail there in quite a while. So it's not... You know, i got to start making wise decisions. Why do I need that? I barely get anything in there. So I shut that down. Even though it's paid up for a year, I'm going to go ahead and turn in the key because I don't need it. So if you do happen to go across an old video, it'll be in the description, the address and all that. Disregard that. It is no longer any good. It'll get sent back to you. Although they know me in that post office, so they would probably stick it. My other P.O. box is just one above it. 
So they might stick it in there. I don't know. But I'm not using that anymore because I feel always have felt guilty when people send me things. Um, in the beginning, now when I started my channel in the beginning, life was a little rough. And everybody told me, oh, you got to put up a PayPal. You got to put up an Amazon wish list. And I did. I didn't know any better. And man, did the stuff come. Ah, the stuff kept coming. It, it was cool. But I got a little small place here, and I appreciated everything. I always appreciate anything anybody sent me. And, and people sent me money, PayPal. I never, ever, the only time I've ever asked is when I needed that dog kennel for the, when the puppies were coming. I was in a spot, and I had to, I had to get it quick. And you guys came through. But I've always, what do you what do you call it? I paid it forward. So anything that was ever given to me, I've I've passed it on to someone else in one way or another, and you guys know that. So that's the way you know. If if you go to mail something to me, there's no way to do that. You can't email me. If you can tell me about it, email me. Say, hey man, where can I mail this to you? I do have another PO box, but. Don't send, you don't have to send me gifts. You know, that is not necessary. I got plenty of stuff. I'm not needing, I, I'm not wanting anything. I'm not needing anything right now. Um, I, I can handle it. My YouTube, from both my channels, and this one's picking up, it does well enough to pay my utility bills um, and a little extra. So, you know, that's, that's fine with me. I don't want to make, I don't want to be a million subscriber channel. I'm happy with what I got. I'm not trying to grow. I'm just doing this for fun, basically. So, it's not something I have to do to make a living. And, you know, a lot of these channels, that's their only source of income. That's fine. But, man, something happens. And YouTube goes down. They're in a spot. So, there's no backup plan for them. And I hope it never happens. But... We need to be a little smarter about how we decide to make a living sometimes and have a backup plan. Because if you don't have a backup plan, if you got a good set of skills, then that's good. You know, you can help others get a little pay. But just if you're thinking of just quitting your job and you're, you know, I'm talking about younger people, it's about quitting your job and becoming a full time YouTuber, uh, that ain't such a good plan. Because number one, you still got to pay taxes. You still got to pay Social Security tax. Uh, a lot of them's going to probably cheat on that. And they're not going to do it. What if you got hurt and you need to file a disability? Well, you don't have any work credits. You're screwed. You got no income. You know, you better hope YouTube stays up. So that's where I'm at. That's my feelings on things. Um, if I seem anti social, you don't see me at events. Well, that's why. And, you know, I've never have been a person that likes going to concerts or anywhere there's large groups of people. That's why I live the way I do. You know, I'm kind of a lone wolf. Uh, some people are, some people ain't. If I never saw a city again the rest of my life, I'd be happy because it, I'd, I'd just get around a bunch of people. I, I don't like the hustle and bustle. That's just how I am, and some people can't accept that, but... That's me, and I will never change. But I do want to get out and do some fun things and, and bring that to you guys to show you some of the places, our state parks. Um, next week, I'm going to load up two bikes. I think me, if I get Anson to go with me, um, there's a nice trail about an hour, a little over an hour from here that used to be railroad tracks, and it's about eight miles long. They, they took out the tracks, and they made a nice wooded, and it's all wooded, they, need a, they made a nice trail out of it, and I'm going to head there one day next week. Got to be early in the morning, because I don't want to be out in the heat, but I think that'll be a nice nice little video, and I can knock out the reviews, too. I got I got two more reviews, uh, one on, two e-bikes. One I already did a review on, but they want two. Then I've got a new e-bike that I have to do one on. Uh, they don't ask for much. Ten-minute video. So we'll get do a nice video for them, and then I'm pretty much, if it ain't an e-bike, I'm not doing any more reviews. Uh, those are 
people don't enjoy watching most of those. The e-bike ones do all right, but you know, people don't enjoy watching them, and I, I just don't want to. And they hound you to death. You know, if they send you a product, when are you going to put the video out? When are you going to put the video out? I don't deal with that no more. So that puts me right into dealing with a bunch of people. All right, guys, that's my rant for the day. Thank you for watching. Happy trails.